Everyone. This is Kathleen of American College Strategies and I have the privilege of being on the campus of Redlands University here in Redlands, California. I'm about 70 miles from LAX, about 48 miles from John Wayne Airport, and I've had a wonderful tour, 90 minutes on campus, meeting students, having a tour, meeting admissions, and getting to know a little bit about what makes Redlands unique and why I think you may want to come and take a tour here. I know a lot of students are drawn to Southern California, whether you're from the Boston area or from the Seattle area or even from outside of the United States. There's really something magical about Southern California schools. And for many students, Redlands might not be on their list. And I'm gonna give you some of the reasons why I think Redlands University needs to be on your list. Redlands University is founded in the early 1900s. It used to be very affiliated with the American Baptist Church, but it is no longer affiliated with the Baptist Church. While it does have a chapel on campus, it is really used as a gathering space for many different faith-based organizations or for concerts and events. So what is special about Redlands University? It's about 2,700 students. It is a liberal arts university and it does have some graduate programs. And it's got a very nice 68% acceptance rate. Mid 3.0 students really should consider here. 24 is the average ACT, about 1180 on the SAT. And they do super score, so send all your scores here and they will take the best of each sitting and combine it together. While an interview is not required, I say to my students, if you're given the chance, ask for an interview. What it is, is some people call it an interview, some call it a meeting one-on-one -on -one with admissions. I suggest take the opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with an admissions officer. The meeting usually lasts an hour. It gets you to tell them about yourself. What makes you special? What are you really interested in academically? What do you want to do as an adult in your career? What do you want to do giving back to the world? And what is new this year for Redlands University is they guarantee I repeat, they guarantee that you will graduate in four years. It doesn't matter if you double major. It doesn't matter if you're a varsity athlete. It doesn't matter if you do study abroad. They guarantee you will graduate in four years. For students and parents, that is fabulous. And not all universities do that. If you're paying $64,000 a year, you want to be out in four years. At Redlands, we talked a lot about financial aid, and what I liked about it is their very big financial aid packages. A great many students will get between fourteen dollars and $25,000 a year as scholarships. That includes free money for you. That's not counting the federal or state aid that you may get for need-based, but they're looking for students that really make an impact on the campus. Another thing I found very, very interesting and telling about the student body is as a freshman, you're required to do 80 hours of community service. It is simply a requirement. It's part of your 14 core things that you need to do as a freshman, 80 hours of community service. And it's not just done freshman year. The students here feel that giving back is very important. When I was at the cafeteria, I noticed a group of women sitting there and they were talking about saving the elephants and there is there going to be a big march on campus this evening. 
about having people understand how we have to save the elephants of the world and what a crisis it is in Africa and Asia with the elephants. That is an example of what you will find here on the campus. So you have a small campus of 2,700 students and yet I felt this expanse. It is large plot of lands, very sprawling, beautiful surrounding buildings. I never felt that I was on a small campus. I really felt that the students here had everything that you would find if you were at a major university. And that is what you really need to think about when you consider the difference between a big university and a small school. When you're talking about academics at Redlands University, what you need to know is there's, it is a semester, four months, four months, and one month. Very different. So four months fall, four months spring, and then the month of May is one month where you take one course really in depth. Now many students choose to do that. You do it about twice during your four years, but for many other students, they like to go home at the end of April. And when they go home, that really gives them a jump start on getting summer jobs and doing summer things at home. Another academic program that is extremely powerful is their Salzburg program. About 50% of the students here study abroad at least once. Their Salzburg program, it, you apply to it and about 30 students are accepted every year where you go to Salzburg and you spend the entire year living in a castle with professors, studying and touring all over Europe about your major, about everything to do with the growth of Europe, the development of humanity. It is very intensive. It is only 30 students, but it is a fabulous program. I spoke to a student on campus that just got back from China. He actually went over to China with a Princeton University program. It didn't cost him any more. He had to pay airfare, but all his credits he earned came back to campus. All his financial aid went with him, and he absolutely loved living in Beijing and China for one entire year studying Mandarin and that's where he hopes to work when he graduates from here. One of the questions I always like to ask and you certainly should ask is what kind of advising do you get? So here at Redlands you get an advisor your freshman year. You take a freshman class that you are in, you are assigned a professor and that professor becomes your advisor until you declare your major. If you declare your major in freshman year, you get to choose your advisor from the department that you are majoring in. If you wait to sophomore year, you keep with your freshman advisor until you declare and then you get to choose your advisor. And my guide Benjamin said to me, his advisor has become, in fact, not just a professor, not just an advisor, but a very good friend of his. We all know that going to university is about academics, but that's only a small part of it. What are the fun things you can do here at Redlands University? So I found they are the home of the Bulldogs. Their Bulldog is named Thurba, and he is on campus. The math professor, Dr. Doolittle, would you believe, takes care of Thurba and walks him around campus. So that's a little fun fact. Another is they are in a conference athletically with Occidental, with Pomona and the Claremont Colleges, with Chapman, and that's who their Division Three, and they do their sports with that. In fact, we passed a swimming arena that was huge. The swimming pool just blew me away. This incredible outdoor swimming pool. Another fun fact is Redlands University has been a top producer of Fulbright scholarships. Fulbright scholarships are run by the State Department and they are um, chosen for top students, senior students, get to study after graduation one full year abroad for either teaching or studying totally paid for, including expenses. And they've been the top producer last year, the year before in 08, 09. It's an incredible, credible achievement for a student body of 2,700 students. In conclusion, what I really wanted to say is this very humorous thing I thought about Redlands. As I walked through the campus, there were banners with these very strange words. And I said, what 
are those words? What does that mean? Here's the tale. In the 1920s, during a game with Occidental College, the students here wanted to make fun of Oxy's fight song that was done entirely in Latin. Redlands didn't have a Latin fight song, so two of the students made up a fight song, and it's called Ach Tamale. And this is a fight song you learn when you come on campus, and when you leave campus, everybody says it. As an alum, they sign off their letters with Ach Tamale. It is something that is just done, and I'm gonna tell you what Redlands University fight song is. I'm gonna to have to read it because there's no way I could memorize it. Ach tamale, gazuli gazump, de yump de yadi yahoo, ink de mink de yadi gazink, de yump de ray yahoo, wing wang tricky tracky, poo foo juicy woozy, skizzle wazzle wang tang, orky porky domin orky, redlands, ra ra redlands. Everybody on campus knows it. It is funny. This school, Redlands University, is really worth a visit. Don't rely on the website. Don't rely on what you find out on searches. You've got to come here and take a look. I think you'll be impressed. Give me a call, Kathleen at American College Strategy. I'm having a lot of fun. Ah, tamale.